Hey everyone, Pete Gallia here. Thanks so much for checking out my video this week and tuning into my channel once again. This week, we're gonna be using these guys once again. Woo! And I wanted to share with you a simple polyrhythmic phrase that you can play on the asalato or kashaka, whatever you wanna call them, which is a fair bit simpler than my recent video, Decoding Polyrhythms with Kashaka. And uh, if you haven't seen that, maybe check that out also. But this one's gonna be a little bit simpler, focusing on just one pattern that you can try. And I'm gonna show you how you can listen to it in two different ways to make the same pattern sound like two different things. So, let's jump right in. Before we play the pattern together, you are gonna need to know two different patterns on, uh, well, one on each hand, of course. And they're very simple, and they go a little bit like this. One hand is gonna be playing groupings of three, which we're gonna look at either as triplets or not. I'll get to that in a second. But essentially, this is what the rhythm is like. Now, I do plan to do some more basic tutorials of this amazing instrument. And uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in a comment. I've already got a couple of comments asking for some more basic stuff. So I'll probably be getting down to that in the next couple of weeks. And the other little pattern that we're going to be using is a little bit like this. If you've seen anything related to this instrument on, on Instagram or other social media, you've probably seen this already. And it goes a little bit like this. So. Now, on these uh, beginner videos you find on social media, particularly by people selling <laughs> this instrument, is to try this rhythm. Click, click, shake, shake, click, click, shake, shake, click, click, shake, shake, click, click, shake, shake. Now we are going to be using that pattern, it's just going to be displaced a little bit and the first click is not going to come on beat one on the downbeat, it's just going to be shifted a little bit and put into context with the other rhythm. So to understand the context of this rhythm, I think the best place to start is probably with just the threes and understanding how to hear that. Because once you get that, playing the rhythm and listening to the two different sides of the polyrhythm is going to be pretty simple for you. So first thing I would do, let's play some threes with both hands, because why not? Here we go. So these threes, you know, takita 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 takita. We need to learn how to feel them in two different ways. And the first way is as triplets in 4-4, four, four, okay? So it's gonna be one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. Whatever, you get the point. The next way is to feel them as 16th notes going through three, four. One. Two, three, one, two, three. So with the middle partials, it would be one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one, two, three, one, two, three. One E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So of course, when you're listening to them as triplets in four four, each click falls on each downbeat. I'll show you once more. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And when we're feeling this pattern in three, four as sixteenth notes, you're just gonna be shaking through the sixteenths like one, two, three, one, two, three, one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a and you're gonna allow that kind of flip-flop pattern with the threes to go through those sixteenth notes and the they're gonna fall on Beat one, the A uh of the one, the and of the two, and the E of the three. So one, at uh, and three, one, at uh, and three, etc. So check that out. One, two, three, one, at two and 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 three, one, and that's the end of the E and one, and that's the end of the E and one, and that's the end of the E and one, and that's the end of the E and one. So of course, it's a pretty good idea to just do it maybe with one hand, then the other hand, and then put them together. Just listen to the two different rhythms, or I guess it's the same rhythm, the two different sides of the same rhythm, and get comfortable with that. So 
check this out just to see kind of how you could do it. I'm going to keep playing with two hands because I'm lucky enough to have two, so I might as well use them. And just practice the two different ways of counting. So let's get the three started. And maybe choose to go four first and then three after. And it will be something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now let's include a little bit of phrasing from Conacol because why not? It's always a really useful tool and very helpful to me when I'm practicing. So might as well include some of it right here. So to make your life easier in terms of understanding where these different downbeats are in the two different sides, uh, you might want to count takita with the threes to understand the triplets in 4-4. So that's going to be takita, 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 ta. And then of course if you remove the ki ta and you are left with just the first ta, that is your downbeat. So takita, 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 ta, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Happy days. Next way would be to continue playing the threes and recite takadimi over it for the 16th notes, of course, groups of four, you know, in three, four, and uh, it sounds a little bit like this. Takadimi, 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 takadimi. You can just shake. This one's maybe a little bit more challenging than the other. So start with just shakes. Takadimi, 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 and then we do the same thing. We leave the first ta in and we're going to remove ka di mi and that gives us our downbeats. So that's that. I mean, it's already enough to work on if you've never worked on listening to one simple rhythm from two sides. It could be already a lot of fun stuff for you to practice just with that. In terms of polyrhythms and all of these uh, metric magic things we can use in music, understanding threes and fours, or of course two, three, four, and maybe six, how they work together, that's definitely going to be the most useful that you can come across. So it's worth taking your time with it. So going back to the exercise, once you've worked out the inner workings of it a little bit better, you can play this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All right, you got all of that down and it's sounding super awesome and you're really comfortable with it and you really know where to identify all of those different pulses, all of those different pulses, two different pulses. And the next thing would be to just move that three pattern onto one hand. I'm going to choose my right in this case. And we're going to add our little secondary rhythm here on the left hand to create our polyrhythm. So to quickly isolate the left hand, this is kind of what's happening in terms of the triplets in 4-4 feel. One, two, three, four, 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 one. So to slow it down a little bit, these are the partials of the triplets you're going to be hitting with those clicks. So one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. 
So you're going to be letting go of the bottom shaker ball on beat three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. And that allows you to do three and a four and a one. Again, three and a four and a one. Now the other version of this pattern I find a little bit easier personally, maybe you will too. It's playing in the 3-4 16th note vibe and the clicks are going to hit beat 3 and the A uh of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, etc. Let's check it out. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So in this case, you're going to be letting go of that shaker ball on the 2 and 1 e and the 2 e and the 3 e and the 1 e and the 2 e and the 3 e and the 1 e and the 2 e and the 3 e and a. Sleep, sleep, poor MacBook, you're working so hard. So let's get a feel for this rhythm and try and just listen to it and understand where those clicks kind of play off each other. And you want to aim for this kind of feel. Like this. Now the final step for today is to count the two different downbeats to frame the rhythm differently and we get this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, a four, a 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 one. And the other way would be like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, the E a one, two, the E a one, two, the E and the one, two, the E and the one, two, the E a one, two, the E and the one, two, the E a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, I messed it up at the end, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave that in there, because I'm a human being, and this is real. So finally, one after the other, let's feel how different this same rhythm can be when we look at it in two different ways, or listen to it in two different ways, I guess. Fantastic. So just to conclude, the vibe of this rhythm kind of gives me these two feelings, these two melodies. The first being Which is kind of the triplet and 4-4 vibe. And the other vibe would be the 16th notes in 3-4. I wonder how many times I've said that today, but oh well. And the feel it gives me, the vibe it gives me is
that's that. It's nice to also put it in the context of just a downbeat, maybe with some claps, so you don't need your shakers to practice it, and you can internalize the rhythm a bit better, a bit more deeply, just for you. Now, as always, I think these kind of things really help you to gain a bit more depth and a bit more of a sense of melody with your percussion playing. You know, we're not, as drummers, we're not just playing rhythm. There is melody, there is harmony to it. And this is one simple way that I like to use, or at least that has helped me to see things from different perspectives. And speaking of different perspectives, this one same rhythm sounds and feels completely different depending on where your ear is, where you're standing, how you're listening to it. So let's take that as a lesson for life. Sometimes one thing can mean different things for different people, depending on their background and experiences and all of that. Yay, life lessons through music. That's how we like to do it. All right, everyone, I guess that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today and that it gives you something to practice with your uh, asalato slash kashaka slash televi slash keskes, etc., etc. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And if you're enjoying the content I'm putting out weekly at the moment, please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, leave a comment, all of that stuff you're used to hearing a bit too much probably, but um, maybe you want to join my little uh, online channel that's growing slowly, slowly, and we can build a little community of rhythm nerds. So have a fantastic day and a great week. Happy practicing. Thanks once again, and I'll see you in next week's video. Cheers!